I was dismissed, and I believe it to be unlawful. The long story short is I whistle blew against my boss, and he forged documents against me to get me out of the business. What, so did, you, what, did, you the, blow, what did you blow the whistle about? He was underpaying staff, so staff were being paid below the minimum wage. OK. Can, can, don't name the company, but can you give me an idea of its size and what it does? It's a very large company, and it's hospitality. OK. Now, when you say you blew the whistle, to whom did you blow the whistle? It was to my district manager at the time. Right, so your boss is your manager, and the person above him or her is the district manager. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, so you will almost certainly be covered by the whistleblowing legislation. The whistleblowing legislation says that where you allege that somebody is committing a criminal act, which is what paying below the minimum wage would be, or is breaching another legal obligation, and you tell your boss's boss, uh, and you reasonably believe that the disclosure is in the public interest, and I suspect you did believe it's in the public interest, Craig, yeah. uh, then you're protected against any sort of retribution, including dismissal, even if you haven't worked for the normal two years that you need to have worked for to normally claim unfair dismissal. So the issue isn't whether the law's on your side, Craig. The issue is, that you, is whether you can prove that the reason you were dismissed was because you blew the whistle, as opposed to whatever the reason your manager concocted. What was the reason? What were the documents he forged? It was unrelated to the issue of underpaying staff. That's the problem that I had. Yeah, but what, was what was the allegation? It was fire regulation documents for checking the building, and my signature was forged for it to have been me that conducted them, when in reality it wasn't. So your boss said you'd done fire checks, presumably said you'd done them inadequately. He said that, that I hadn't completed them at all when they should be completed. I was the supervisor at the time, so it was okay, my so who, responsibility. Who should, have, who should have completed them? It was him at the time. Sorry, say that again? It was him that was supposed to be performing the It was checks. him, and he yeah. created a paper trail that suggested it was you that was meant to be doing it. He did, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, does your job description say that you're responsible for that? It does, yeah. So if your job description says you're responsible, why do you say you're not responsible? Well, sorry, we're both partially responsible. It's whoever's on shift at the time would do the test, and it was him supposed to be due on shift when it was my day off. Well, surely that that can easily be proven as to whether you were on shift or not. Yeah, but that's the issue that I'm trying to have. It's what issue, eh, sorry, not what issue, what road to take it down, whether I should go to either the solicitors or take it up through ACA. I, I understand, right. So are you are you a member of a union? I'm not, no. Uh, the first, When were you dismissed? What was the date of dismissal? It was the 30th of July. OK, so you've still got a little bit of time. The law says that if you want to bring a claim... It's you, three months, yeah. It's three months less a day. You've got to contact ACAS within three months less a day and do something called early conciliation. So you've got till the 29th of uh, October to do that. Right. Um, don't make the mistake of thinking it's the end of October. It's not. It's three months less a day. That's the 29th of October. And uh, you've got to contact ACAS. ACAS will see if your employer wants to do a deal with you. And if not, you get a further... It depends on some complex calculations, but about a month to put in a claim uh, to the tribunal. Don't miss that deadline. That's the most important thing. Now, whether you want to speak to a solicitor first is a matter for you. Um, whistleblowing claims can be complicated, particularly where there's forged documents involved. But if you're going to go down the legal route and you're not a member of a union, then it can cost a lot of money. We're talking a solid five figure sum to have lawyers yeah. represent you in a case. So to an extent, it's going to depend on how much you think you're likely to win and whether you're willing to risk the legal fees to increase your chances of winning. Do you have any um, household insurance, by the way, or car insurance that covers legal expenses? I was checking my home insurance and unfortunately, no, there's no such thing. OK, what about any car insurance that covers legal expenses? Likewise, nothing. OK, so uh, hard choice. You've got to uh, either pay a lawyer a five-figure sum to take it all the way. It could, of course, settle very quickly. Uh, or you can try a no-win, no-fee agreement with a lawyer. And if lawyers think your case is decent and what you're telling me it is, they might work for a third of the money and take some risk themselves. Uh, and that's often a very good way to do it. Or do it yourself in the hope the case will settle or, or not be that hard to fight. Um, 
I, I will recommend a organisation that's really good for employees uh, who want to get a quick settlement, if that's what you are, if you're after. It's called Yes, Y E S S. I've got no yeah, connection. I've ever heard of them. You've heard of them. Good. No, um, I haven't heard of them. Oh, you haven't. Okay. Uh, so they're called Yes. They're they're based in London, but they work all around the country. Uh, I can't remember what it stands for. It's an acronym. Um, I've got no connection with them, but I know they're very very highly regarded, Craig. Perfect. Thank you very much for that, Daniel. The other issue is, as well, they're withholding all of my holiday pay and my last wage as well. That's very naughty. They shouldn't be doing that. Uh, That doesn't sound like the actions of a big company. That sounds like the actions of a small company where the manager's, where the boss is trying to get retribution for something. But put in a grievance about it. It's a company with 55,000 employees. Goodness, right. So put in a grievance about it and at the same time bring your tribunal claim, making sure you claim those back wages and holiday pay as well as whistleblowing dismissal. That's absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for your help tonight, Craig. Craig, thanks for the call and great to have you uh, listening and calling in.